Good morning. Still pretty early in the morning right now. Not a lot of food places open, but there is KFC. Let's go try it out. Wow. I think that's enough for breakfast. And while I'm waiting for my food, a big shout out to Vessi for partnering with me on this video. I've been wearing these Vessi shoes for a few weeks now, and I'll tell you with 100% honesty, ever since I put them on, they have become my favorite shoes, maybe ever. And I saw in the comments, some people were like, wow, maybe you just didn't have good shoes. Look, I'm not what you would consider a fashion icon, but I like comfortable shoes. And these are not only extremely comfortable, they look good. I think I look better. Also, what's super unique about these shoes is that I know some people, their romantic thing is long walks on the beach. Mine is long walks in the rain, usually by myself because no one else really likes to do that but that's what i like to do not in a thunderstorm but when it's drizzling you just go walk around in the rain and these shoes are great because they're a hundred percent waterproof and snowproof oh i think my chicken's ready it's actually a lot less food than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, like I was saying, Vessi shoes are made from Dymatex, a dual climate knit that keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And it's not like you're wearing these and you're like, yeah, these are definitely plasticky, waterproof shoes. Not at all. They just feel like a normal, comfortable pair of shoes that are 100% waterproof. So you can wear them every single day. And if it rains, no wet socks for you. Also, Vessi shoes use less material waste, less water waste, and no animal byproducts. And before I decided to partner with them, I put them to the test. As you can see here, the extreme water faucet test. Anyway, I'm never gonna tell you guys about a product I don't personally absolutely love. I got two pairs of these shoes right now. I'm buying another pair. That's how much I love them. So if you wanna get a pair, they have an incredible early holiday sale. And you can check that out in my link down below. And if you miss the early holiday sale, don't worry. Just use my code Mikey and you're gonna get $25 off your Vessi shoes. All right, let's see some chicken for breakfast. I got two pieces of the spicy sweet chicken. One is the black label. So apparently black label just means there's no bones inside. That is a gooey piece of chicken. It's good. It's a sweet and spicy chicken tender. Good, not great. Just a little too sweet for me. I think I'm gonna enjoy the one with the bone in more. The skin here looks way more crispy. This is a much better bite of chicken. First of all, it's dark meat, so it's gonna be automatically juicier. Secondly, better breading, more texture, crispier. This is extremely messy to eat though. For some reason, I feel like the, the version with the bone inside, somehow the chilies penetrated this better because it is more moist. So overall, it tastes like a much better piece of chicken. Word of advice for you guys, if anybody in South Korea offers you a cheese ball, you take it. And if they call you a cheese ball, that's like the ultimate compliment. Okay, I don't know if that's true. For me, it would be. Mm. Oh my God. This is the greatest thing ever. If it's gonna drip, I'm gonna let it drip on my cheese tart. Korea has mastered the art of the ultimate cheese ball. I'll look that up later. Mm. That might be the best thing this KFC has to offer. I knew the kernel was a little cheesy. This might just be his greatest creation. And I'm so mad it's not available in the US. This is not only one of the best KFC items. This is one of the best items, period. Crunchy, melting your mouth, outer shell. I mean, just listen to this, to subtle crunch, ready? Little bit of mochi inside, and then the rest, pure, sweet, gooey cheese. And what's great about this is the outside spear is not too thick. It's not gonna fill your mouth with like hard to chew mochi. One bite melts away and the rest, just that sweet gooey cheese. It's like KFC's version of the sweet soup dumpling. One of the most delightfully crunchy, surprisingly delicious items you can get at KFC. That would be so popular in America, so popular. Chicken thigh burger. This is beautiful. Fried egg in the middle with ham on top, lettuce. I tried to unhinge my jaw as much as I could. Still barely made a dent. Whoa. That is a surprisingly runny egg in the middle. Oh, this is amazing. Please come and try this burger. The ham, I mean, that's just a bonus meat, but that egg is so creamy. I mean, this is no McDonald, you know, looks like I sat in a desert for 10 days kind of egg. This is actually a real fried egg with a creamy, runny center. How often do you see that at fast food restaurants? One of the best sandwiches 
I've ever had at KFC. Just everything about it. Quality, the boneless meat, runny eggs, dipped down in some gravy. This gravy, thick, rich, peppery. Will go great with fries too. Mm. This next burger is the tower. Looks like a monster chicken patty with a hash brown on top with cheese and lettuce. Look at that juicy piece of chicken in the middle. It's just glistening with pride. That's the juiciest piece of chicken I've had today. Pure white meat. Oh, the magic. Good job, Colonel, on this one. I don't like the burger I had at McDonald's. This hash brown works flawlessly. When you take a bite, the hash brown kind of breaks apart and crumples. So it's like you're eating a bite of chicken and slightly toasty potatoes at the same time. Wow. We're in KFC in South Korea. Highly recommend the chicken sandwiches. The chicken is good. This is great. Corn salad is more of an impulse buy. Very much Asian influence. Some chilies in here, some green peppers. Doesn't taste overly mayonnaise-y. Super crisp and refreshing. Oh my God, like 30 people just walked in. I'm, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Only thing I have left to eat is the egg tart that I get every single time I'm at KFC. <laughs> Things to get, cheese balls, number one. Chicken sandwich, any chicken sandwich, 100% the egg tart, always. Go to food item at KFC in Korea. Get the egg tart. Sorry, America. I don't know why we don't get these like amazing food items. Our cheese ball. Why wouldn't Americans love cheese ball? I mean, don't we sell those like gigantic containers of, of cheese balls at like every single supermarket? Come on, Colonel, we live for cheese balls. Bring us some cheese ball and end this. Gotta run away. That was such a delicious and fulfilling meal. Something I don't think I ever said after leaving KFC. Most Korean office workers take lunch at about the same hour and a half or two hours. So as soon as it hits 11.30, which is about now, the restaurants or basically anywhere with food just becomes completely packed with people. So I really try to avoid this time period. Uh, that's why I had to get out of the KFC because everyone was just, just rushed in to get their orders. Oh, hey, my scooter is still there. All right, I have a couple meetings today and then a, a personal dinner. So see you guys tomorrow. I always get started a little late because food places don't usually open till midday, but I haven't had lunch yet. And there's this place I really want to go that has amazing oxtail. I have no idea where it is. Oh my God. I think this is it. This was so hard to find. This place at least what I can tell, is known for oxtail. Travel really far for this. The cab driver dropped me off like 10 blocks away. Oh, here it is. Oh, this dish is a thing of beauty. Chives with sesame and chilies covered a plate full of oxtails. Oh, this thing has marrow in here as well. And on the bottom, you can smell the soy sauce, a little bit of vinegar. It smells a little sweet, a little spicy. Hmm. Chives and the oxtail is a perfect pairing. Bring on the chilies. Mm. A moment of silence for the fallen chili. I'll tell you guys this right now. I'm not even joking a little bit. I don't know what I like better, the oxtail or the chives. Those chives are ridiculous. Great garlic flavor with that punch of sesame. And what I love about oxtail is the fact that it has like all the best of meats in every single section. We have a little lean, a little fat, usually a little collagen. That's remarkable. This is the best tasting way I've had chives outside of a dumpling. And they give you as much of this as you want. After you finish the meat, they'll throw the noodles on this chive and the sauce for you. I'm looking forward to that. Got some marrow in there I can suck out. Of course, got some kimchi, the usual suspects. All this, I think for under 10 bucks. We get free refills on noodles and chives. And I was told this place is a line out the door during dinner time. It's just you can't get in. So luckily I kind of came at a really awkward time. Mm. These pieces are my favorite. Like the meat straight up close to the bones. A little sticky collagen too. Also guys, let me tell you about the weather lately in Korea. It's been a little chilly. Not even sorry for that. Also, you could get a bowl of rice with this too, but I think the only carbs I want today is the noodles. Let's change this into oxtail noodles. Oh, man. That noodle all into that sauce's business. 
This is glorious. This is a fitting conclusion to this dish. The sauce would have been good over rice. It's 100% good over these noodles. And the great thing is unlimited noodles and chives. Well, I'm in Korea. You get these alerts constantly and they're usually about covid so the first message it's just a warning saying um covid transmission is very high especially during meal times something about apps and then one about public safety alert about fishing for money i like these alerts actually most people probably have them turned off i have i leave them on just because i want to know something's happening near me i want to know what's going on <sighs> this place is awesome also i just realized i didn't eat garlic because you know i didn't want to have bad breath i just ate like Two pounds of chai. So to all of you guys over at Dive Studios, I'm sorry. About the only podcast for nonsensical. Here we go. Okay. Alright. So you, where can I watch this after it comes out? The internet. You can find it on YouTube. You can also listen to us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify as well. All right. Okay. So I'll I'll be this episode, whatever this is. <laughs> this episode. Do it. Just finished with the podcast. Amazing group of guys. So much fun hanging out with them. Talking about food for the last couple of hours just made me so hungry. Today, actually, th this has been my goal all along. I heard there's a Popeyes here. I wanted to try it out right away. Let's see what Popeyes are like here in South Korea. Two piece uh, spicy, two piece chili chicken. Got my burgers, got my chicken. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's eat. Okay, so from Popeyes, I think in total there was about maybe 10 burgers total. These were the only ones not sold out. Also, I got two two pieces of chicken. One is the chili chicken and one is the spicy Popeyes chicken. I love Popeyes and when I was looking at the menu of the different stuff that Korean Popeyes had, look at all these, like US Popeyes only has one chicken sandwich. This place has like 10. Let's start with the basics. Popeye spicy chicken. This was my go-to fried chicken in the US. I will put a disclaimer out there. I spent 20 minutes in the cab. So the chicken from kitchen to here, probably about 25, 30 minutes. Some still pretty hot, but probably not gonna be as good as if I had in a restaurant. It's as if Popeyes heard that and was like, Nah, I got you, man. 20 minutes in the cab, I'm still gonna taste delicious. The outside not gonna be as crispy, obviously, but look how juicy it is in here. Glistening with juice. And my mouth has that really nice familiar Popeye's burn from the spices. So good, and you can see the cayenne pepper inside the chicken meat. I miss this. I know I'm in Korea land of some of the best foods in the world. Definitely some of the best fried chicken in the world, but this is home. And I'll tell you right now, in this country, they up the spice. Oh my God, this is no typical spicy Popeyes. I would say this is probably two or three times spicier than the Popeyes in the US. In the US, you drink milk to kind of cool down the, the, the spicy burning sensation in your mouth, but in Korea, you drink Milkis. Carbonated, milky drink. If you've never tried this before, Go to your local Korean supermarket or any Asian supermarket, get this. This is the chili chicken. This piece looks spectacular, covered in Korean chili sauce, fried perfectly. I wish they would bring this to the US. This is absolutely mind-blowing good. I mean, it tastes like a bonafide, delicious Korean fried chicken. The sauce is perfect. Mmm. Little sweet, tons of spice under the sauce. The chicken is crispy, it's tender, it's juicy. This is truly finger licking good. I mean, you don't want a single drop of the sauce to go anywhere. I'm about to lick this wrapper. Sometimes it boggles my mind when companies, they don't want to put quote unquote experimental burgers or fast food items into the US. But things like this, this will do so well. Popeyes, can you, can you hire me as the vice president of tasting your international stuff is that a role that you can create that i can apply for my job would just be go around the world try out your different international menus and tell you which one you should 100 percent bring to the us and this 
This is definitely one of them. I was really surprised that Popeyes in, in Korea has so many sandwiches. This one is the Cajun Extreme Chicken Burger. It looks just like a typical fried chicken sandwich. Pretty simple little bun, lettuce, tomatoes, and then I guess that's some Cajun sauce on the bottom. I know I just said that I spent 20 minutes in the cab trying to get home from Popeye so things are not going to be as juicy as they, as they originally were. But I don't think I was driving in a convertible in 100 degree desert heat. I think you guys can tell right away how incredibly dry that is. Yeah. Yeah, I see. It's like... <laughs> that was not good. I like how they wrap everything though. Look at this. So sometimes I finish wrapping, my burger just falls out from the bottom because I unwrapped it from the wrong direction. No danger of that here. Okay, this looks better. Onions, pickles, lettuce. The burger is definitely more fried. Oh, okay. I think this might be that sweet chicken thigh burger. Mmm. And sweet thigh? It definitely is. This burger has a nice crunch to it. There's more batter on the skin. They fry it perfectly. There's some pickles here. But what's making it sweet is the uh, sweet relish that they put under the burger on the bottom of the patty. Overall, it's tender. It's a little sweet, not too much. Good texture. I like it. This is the bulgogi burger. Sauce on the bottom of the patty. I feel like every single fast food restaurant in Korea has a bulgogi burger. And I'm very mixed on the bulgogi because, man, I ate this for like two weeks during quarantine. They also give you hot sauce though. I think it's decent. This is like the Jake Gyllenhaal of burgers. It's not bad. It's not great. This is the shrimp burger. So far, best shrimp burger I've had belongs to McDonald's. Best burger I've had so far from Popeyes. This is delicious. Super subtle crunch. Big pieces of whole shrimp inside this burger. This is not just a shrimp burger. There's fish in here too. It's a fish shrimp burger or a shrimp fish burger. Oh, this is genius. A fish sandwich is already fantastic, but slight little pieces of shrimp in here. Again, pair that with the subtle crunch. Love this burger. I have absolutely no idea what this, oh, what is that? Oh, those are garlic chips. That's just a big old piece of dry chicken. I'm going to give this burger the benefit of the doubt. Obviously, right now, it doesn't look great because it's thick and it's dry. But if I'm assuming that this thing was really juicy while still at the store, fresh out of the kitchen, the flavor is really good. Flavor is good. Texture is good. We're going to have to go back to Popeyes and try this again. This is also great. Chill Sun Cider. Always order this when I'm in a restaurant. This is the onion meat burger. It looks exactly like the bulgogi burger, except with onions. It tastes exactly like the bulgogi burger, except with onions. So I guess this is the tearjerker version. Last burger. Cajun tongue burger? Pickles, slices of ham, melty cheese over a chicken sandwich. Now this thing definitely looks like it's staring at me. This thing is good, but oh my God, it's heavy. I mean, a thick monster piece of chicken, slices of ham and cheese. I gotta give it to Popeyes. Like they really use thick, massive pieces of good quality, like real meat chicken. Take no McDonald's. I mean, it's a big fulfilling chicken patty and the flavor is good. Nothing's wrong with this at all. It's, it's a good sandwich. Just that big thick chicken plus ham plus cheese equals a four hour nap. I think overall, Popeyes in Korea, this is the best. Chili fried chicken. Come here and get this. Get the regular spicy fried chicken as well. I think the spice level, they upgraded that by a lot and it tastes delicious. Chicken was fried perfectly, even taking it all the way back here. The outside was still relatively crispy. The inside was juicy. The flavor is fantastic. I think this out of the fryer, would have been even better. 100% recommend. Also from the burger side, like if you're looking for a pretty fulfilling sandwich, most of those burgers check the box. The best tasting one, ironically from a chicken shop, the shrimp burger. Like I said, there's a few I didn't get to try today. I think one I really would have wanted was the hot roasted pepper burger. But overall quality of Korean Popeyes, pretty darn good. And if you ever go, definitely get a bunch of these. All right, I was going through these pretty quickly because it was a race against time. So now I get to slowly 
enjoy while watching some Korean dramas. Well, here they just call it dramas, right? Anyway, guys, that's my review of Popeyes here in Seoul, South Korea. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.